dearly beloved We are gathered here today to get to this thing called life And if you ever really try to bring it down Oh crazy And hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality and today I'm going to be breaking down and decoding the artist Prince. This will be Prince Decoded. Prince Rogers Nelson, that's his full birth name. And wait till you see what I have in store for you today on this decode. And I'm going to suggest, as I always do, get yourself in a comfortable position, put on some headphones, get immersed in the background music, really pay attention to this. It will be worth the time you spend in watching this video, I promise you. So let's get started on this, folks, shall we? Here are the topics. I'm going to be going over during this presentation in the zero position man is being used number one home sweet home number two for you number three birth to death number four the meaning of Prince number five Paisley Park number six mother and father number seven fentanyl and number eight, of course, what did you see during this presentation? I'd love to hear from all of you. Your comments are greatly appreciated. So here we go, folks. Topic zero, man is being used. And I, I have, I've been showing and supporting this now for quite some time. Some of you are seeing what I'm showing here and I, I really don't know how else to put this other than just being very blunt and straight that we're being used and during this presentation I'm going to show you once again with absolute clear and convincing evidence that we're being used and again to what level I don't know I, I just don't know but I'm gonna start off with showing you myself now I know this video is not about me but I want to show you how we're being used. And you should probably look at yours as well. This is the home that I was born into. I'm, I was born in Connecticut. And this is the home I grew up in for a little bit. I mean, this is where I went to when I was first a baby. And you'll notice the full address that they list is 982 Riverside Drive, North Groves in Adale, Connecticut, 06255. That's my full address listed on Zillow and the real estate and all markets and everything. That's what it's listed as. Of course, the subtleties, 31 letters and seven words. There's the 137. That's linked to the 33. But I want you to focus on the total numerology output of this, 155. And when you go to the string of pi, I've been showing how accurate the string of pi is, there's only one way to observe the numbers in the string of pi. Only one. And the 155 appears at the 314th decimal digit of pi. That's pi itself, folks. And that's why I discovered this methodology, because, see, this is my last name, Payette. Is there a coincidence there that my last name, Payette, is a two-syllable word and the first syllable is Pi and I've been using Pi to do my decodes and show how accurate it is with numerology and the my birth home is Pi itself? Again, using common sense and logic. If you break it down a different way, because what I did was, folks, here, this is how it's typically listed as right here. They actually abbreviate the word drive. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and put it in and we'll do the full numerology on the word drive. We'll spell it out. So we get the number 167. And 167 is the 39th prime number. 39's tied to the element yttrium, the Y, the 88 time travel. Folks, you, this is the Christ. You, you know what this means by now. 
And here I am being tied to that. And then just to kind of show you even more to support what I'm saying, let's do it through the English. Doing the same methodology, spelling out the entire address through the English, it, it gets an outcome of 457, but yet 457 is the 88th prime number. Matching that once again to the element yttrium. And so, you know, how's this possible? How is this possible? These are my roots. This is my origin. And you should do this for your own benefit as well. Check out where you were born. The latitude, longitude. If I showed you everything about my birth, it would floor you. But I don't, I'm, this is not about me. But, I, you know, people, some people doubt what I'm showing. And I'm just trying to show you, look at what, this is me. And here we are. Look all the decodes I've been doing with this. And I didn't even know. I, I'm actually back home in my current hometown right now, visiting family. Haven't been here in over a decade. And, you know, and then I, I, I like just happened to decode Prince. And I'm like, you know, I was decoding him because here is, you know, here is his uh, house that he was born to. We're going to get into that. But, you know, I was decoding his house. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I wonder what my origins are. And, and there we go. And this is the outcomes I'm getting. And to go even further, you see 982 is the actual physical number of the address. And when you go through the string of pi, it appears at three digit places, 100, 101, and 102. And you add that up, folks, you get the number 33, 303, 33. And we're going to get into the Christ crucifixion, folks. So, I, I, you know, man's being used. I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it. Here's the home that... Prince grew up in as a kid. I don't know how long he stayed here for, but this was his birth home. 539 Newton Ave North, Minneapolis. Look at the numerology output on his address he was born into. 137. That's the 33rd prime number. I mean, the subtleties. 31. Linked to gallium. That's the yin-yang 69. There's the golden ratio right there. I mean, there, there's so many other things. You could decode the 530. I could have went crazy with this, but I just wanted to show you a bits and piece of this and how I got to where this decode started, which was his origins and mine. You should do yours. So let's get into the For You. This was a song that had a lot of Conspiracy theorists coming out of the works showing how, you know, the actual song for you. And we're going to get into the English showing, you know, April 21st is when he died. We're going to get into that. But I wanted to show you through the Chaldean the story that it tells. Notice I Would Die For You. The title of the song is a 47. So who, who, did he, who was he willing to die for? The 47. The ancient Israelite God of the Bible, the yod heh vah -Heh, the Tetragrammaton. Remember, folks, this guy right here was a Jehovah's Witness, converted. Which, interestingly enough, that's the religion I grew up in <laughs> from birth till 16 years old. And here I am doing a decode on the same exact religion that this guy was in as I was in. And then, you know, the string of pi, 47, appears at the 119th decimal digit of pi. That's the 119, the mirror of the 911. I mean, if this doesn't impress you right now, if you're not, you know, if your jaw's not on the floor just with this, I mean, it should be. This is the first album that Prince ever came out with in 1978. And it's just spelled out for you. Instead of, you know, instead of the way here, for you, right there. He did it twice. And notice the release date of the album. April 7th. Otherwise known as 4.7 or 4 slash 7. There's the 47 again. So, you know, if, if you're asking me, like, well, what do you think of it? What do you think of this? Prince is being used for entertainment. He's giving his energy to this entity right there. It's crystal clear. 
And that entity, of course, or that deity or demiurge, whatever you want to call it, it goes by many different names and titles and layers. Saturn, Kronos, yod heh vah Yahweh, Yaldabaoth, all the same thing. Jesus, Lucifer, they're all tied together. But make no mistake about it, you think that he purposely, at the beginning of his career, you think this guy actually decided to release it on April 7th so it would match the 47 and the tetragram time? And remember, folks, 47 is titanium. That's Saturn's moon, Titan. Saturn is the YHVH, the Yod. It's tied to Saturn, Kronos, Father Time. It's pretty crystal clear. When you spell out the words for you, you get the 31. And remember, when you go back, you know, I know this is just a subtlety, but he was born in a three bedroom and one bath house. And that may be a small, that may be stretching it a little bit, but you know, those are the subtleties that I see. This is his first album he ever came out with. Look at the numbers the 1714. Lucifer's numbers are 741. And then 31, again, through the string of pi, is found at the 137th decimal digit, which is 33, again. What was the crucifixion? 33. 33 vertebrae in our backs. 33 steps. 33. And this guy's first album's tied to it. This was the release date of the song, I Would Die For You, November 28th, 1984. Notice it's a number 126. November 28th in 1984, it was a leap, leap year, is the 303rd day of the year. And this song got released on that day? How convenient. How convenient. The B-side in the U.S., of I Would Die For You was called Another Lonely Christmas. You do the numerology of that, it's a direct match of the release date, the 126. So what is the 126? It's tied to the element iodine, as in the I am that I am. Iodine is directly linked to the 47. The Tetragrammaton. Guess who he died for? Guess who he is being used by? And then this is the, you know, this is the typical one you've seen over the years. People showing, you know, I would die for you. He died on April 21st. And through the English, it's, you know, for you is 421. That's pretty common to see this. But then if you go a little bit further, for, it's you. This is the big standout, you. Who would you die for? You. And he spelled it out with the letter U, and that's 21. So, you know, through the string of pi, 21 appears at the 93rd and 94th decimal digit of pi. 94 being plutonium, being Lucifer, Pluto, the god of the underworld. But notice that the direct tie-in for this U letter is tied to Kronos, Saturn, the throat chakra. Father Time, 93 and 21, directly in bed with one another. So it's pretty crystal clear. You see the story, and then how are you to deny that this guy's not being used because of his death? His, wait till I get into some more. Oh, just wait. I got, I got way more to show you. Here's his birth to death time stamp right here. Born on June 7th, died on April 21st. It's a span of 21,139 days, folks. That is a prime number. Now, if you don't know what a prime number is, then you probably were like, oh, that's no big deal. But if you know what a prime number is, you'll know the significance and how important this expression is right here. And you can go and decode the tweet 2375, but, you know, he died, his death, his timestamp's a prime number. Here's just the actual timestamp without using the years. April 21st to June 7th, it's 47 days. 
It's kind of getting monotonous now. 47, 47, 47. The guy was born to make music for the world, but who did he die for? Who was he being used by? The Tetragrammaton. Tetragrammaton. Here's his full name in the English. It ends up becoming a 226. That's tied to the number 88 in radium. And this element, this is why I have, you know, this is the picture of Ra. Is the yod heh vah ra Because now we get into ancient Egypt. And the biggest deity, this biggest solar deity. You listen, folks, the yod heh vah is a solar deity. If you didn't know that. Ra was a solar deity. One of the biggest in ancient Egypt. If not the biggest. And this guy's name's linked out through the English. So another layer you can observe it from. What about the alchemology? Prince Nelson Rogers. I think I got that backwards. It should be Prince Rogers Nelson. The alchemology of his name. And what is alchemology? It's taking the letters, bringing it into the numbers. And then the third layer would be tying the individual numbers to the elements of the periodic table. Notice Prince is 821535, and there is the elements that are associated with those numbers, oxygen, helium, hydrogen, boron, lithium, boron, 821535. And you do it for all the names, and then you go to the trusty calculator. I couldn't fit them all on here. You can fact check this. But his total outcome, folks, is 158.152. 158 on the masculine side of the decimal. That's linked to the element gadolinium, the 64th element. Po folks, remember, there are 64 possible codons in our DNA. This is the GD, as in the God element. Has many weights, but there it is. 64 squares on a chessboard. I mean, are you seeing the picture here, folks? What this guy's tied to. And you should do your alchemology. If you haven't watched my video, How to Decode Yourself, you should watch that. It's an hour and five minutes long. You can find some great keys to your kingdom. So then you look at his name through the Chaldean, and there's that 74, 47 again. And that's tied to the element tungsten, also known as Wolfram. You see the W, that's the abbreviation for Wolfram. That's the 23rd letter in the alphabet. Quite fitting for this element because that's the triple crown. You, if you, put, you can put three crowns on there is tied to carbon but tungsten they used to make light bulbs for the filaments and what do light bulbs do they illuminate illumination this guy's name falls on that straight up so what about the string of pi what does that got to say with it well 74 appears at the 56 and 57th decimal digit of pi starts at the 56 and there we go once again that's tied to the element iron and the yode vahe the original spelling the four letter name of the god of the bible who of course this guy converted to jw they use the old and new testament these letters when you break them down through numerology it's going to become the number 26. i've shown this so many times and remember, the Yone Vahe, when you study the ancient Israelite God of the Bible, you'll see that it came out around the Bronze and Iron Ages, around those time frames, which then ties to Yaldabaoth. Because copper is 29, which is tied to Yaldabaoth. So there's a look at it through the numerology of the Hebrew original spelling 26. And remember, we have 26 letters in our alphabet. The Greeks had 24. The, you know, the Hebrew had 22. And we have iron in our blood. That's what makes it red.
Now we can give it another look. And let me just backtrack here to this expression through the Chaldean and pi. Notice again, 74 is at the 56th and 57th decimal digits. It occupies both spaces. And of course, you know, that's linked to iron, as I mentioned. But when you really take it to another level, and then we get into the 56 and 57, instead of observing it from the iron state, we then go to barium and lanthanum. And barium, you know, means heavy. And then lanthanum means to lie hidden. So when you take these two elements, 56 and 57, and you provide the alchemy, you add them up, you get the number 276.811, and 276 is tied to the synthetic, meaning man-made, element metnerium, because it has an atomic weight of 276. That's the 109th element on the periodic table. Remember the word battery equals 19. You just take the zero out. And then, of course, the big standout is the 109 is the 29th prime number, and that is linked to the Gnostic Demiurge Yaldabaoth. So, is it possible that the Yaldabaoth character is feeding off of the energy of the yod heh Are they one in the same? And remember, I mean, folks, we have iron in our blood. And if you study the Yaldabaoth character, if you've seen my decode on the Yaldabaoth, Yaldabaoth is copper, the 29th element. And, and Yaldabaoth is known as the octopus. And the octopus has blue blood because it has copper in its blood, not iron. Copper and iron. So does the Yaldabaoth character own the yod heh the ancient Israelite god of the Bible? It's just like passing the baton on. So then we get into Paisley Park, the home and studio of Prince. And the address is 7801 Abaddon Road in Chanhassen, Minnesota. Notice the total numerology is 119, which of course is tied to the word transcendence. Transcendence is a number 50, and that's tied to the element tin, which has an atomic weight of 119. And what did Prince do? He transcended in a certain way, right? Because he's sublimating. He's going from a solid to a gas, if you're studying it from that perspective. When we leave our physical bodies, where does our spirit go? Do we even have such a thing? I mean, we're energy. The subtleties is the 21 letters and six words. That's the 216, and that is the divine triangle tied to the 47th problem of Euclid, the Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And then, of course, 21 is Saturn itself because Saturn equals 21, the world card in the tarot. And then what about his, I mean, folks, this, <laughs> this is where he was born and where he died. He, he died really close to where he was born. We're going to get into that. But notice the coordinates are almost identical. The latitude, longitude of Minneapolis and Chanhazen are identical on the masculine side. 44 degrees north, 93 degrees west. And when you add up those two, 44 and 93, you're going to get the number 137. And if you add up the entire latitude longitude, you're going to get 138, which then we go right back to here. And you're occupying these two elements right there, which again goes to the 74, tied to Yaldabaoth and copper. But the 137, obviously, folks, here's. It's tied to the Christ energy. So again, who, wh who's running the Christ energy? And did Prince die for the Christ energy? Is that what it means? I mean, the number 137 is the 33rd prime number, as all of you know. And this element right here contains 
Jesus' name through the English and the death date, or the death age, I should say, 33. And then, of course, let's not forget, you know, the Latin spelling, the Latin spelling of Lucifer, because it was actually H-Y-L-L, which equals the number 39, which is still tied to the Christ, is 74. So these two characters share that. They share that energy. So here's the distance between his birth city and death city. And it's, you know, 15.64 miles. I mean, remember, the number 47 is the 15th prime number. I mean, there's the 15 right there. 47 is the 15th prime number. So when you start taking a look at different avenues, notice, you know, 47 is the 15th prime number, and that's tied to these two elements right here, the element silver and the element phosphorus. Now, what's fascinating about this layer is that in the Greek, Lucifer is known as phosphorus. And then when you add up these are two these two elements, you do alchemy with these two elements because they're in bed together through the number and the primes. Going over to the trusty calculator, look at the total that we get. The total alchemy of these two elements that are in bed together is yet again the 137, which is the 33rd prime number. You see how all this kind of fits in and we start creating the truth, or what I believe to be the truth, through the narrative. And you know, the subtleties, because I added this in, you know, this is when I actually took the snapshot of the alchemy of silver and phosphorus when I decided to add this into this presentation. 4.07 p.m. and my battery was at 66%. So folks, you know, again, we're being used to be in tune with the story of this world so then you go back to this graph again and you get the 15 and the number 64 very much important and when you add up 15 and 64 you get the number 79 and 79 is gold folks and you know when you do the numerology of his city of birth and city of death you get the number 79 79 and you know folks look gold the atomic weight of gold is 196 it's just a higher form of the 96 because the one owns that 96 like 100 and then 96 96 is yin yang and we're being told through many layers of history that we're being mined for gold used as energetic food turning lead into gold sublimation transformation transcendence and this guy's distance is 79 and that numerology of his birth city and death city is 79. What are the odds of that being the case, folks? You see how strong these are? And then we get into, you know, his parents. I mean, his parents, their birth to death just using the days on the calendar, not the years, because his, his mom was born in 33, his dad in 1916, but when you just do the timestamp of these two, you're going to get 135 days. Notice it's four months and 13 days, and that's pi backwards. That is pi backwards. So then you get into their cards. John Nelson, born June 29th, 1916, his mom. Maddie Shaw, born November 11th, that's an 11-11, 1933. What I wanted to point out the subtleties, folks, because these are important. The 19 was the century they were born into, and the 16 and the 33 were the years. If you take the number 16, and you bring it together with the 33, you're going to find that in the element sulfur because sulfur has an atomic 
mass or weight or isotope of 33. 33. So the sulfur's tied to the Christ as well. And it's tied to arsenic. Notice the cards now. June 29th is the Ace Clubs card. And how I found that, just so you know, I'm going to show you June 29th is the Ace Club cards. In case you want these graphics, just let me know. Hit me up. Send me an email. Decode your reality at gmail.com and I'll send them to you. But there it is. June 29th. 29th the ace clubs card and then her card november 11th is the nine clubs card which is right november nine clubs card right there november 11th so here are the two cards of their births they're both clubs and you know the ace is the representation of the number one so there's the 19 Remember, 19 is linked to the word battery. You can't get any more opposite on the numbering spectrum. The 1 and 9. Endings and completions and beginnings. 14 plus 22 is going to give you the number when you do the, what's called a composite. Now, you're taking these two cards, marrying them together. These two are joining energies, and then they produce offspring, which is where Prince comes in. Notice... 14 plus 22 equals the number 36, and that is exactly what Prince's card is by the June 7th. If we go back to this right here, and you look at June 7th, it's the 10 diamonds card. And he has that card. Folks, you know, you should be following and checking out what your parents are, your siblings and all that. Find out what your parents' composite card was. But folks, this is rare from all my research to where two parents actually make up their son or daughter's card when you add them up. 36, 10 diamonds. This is called the Fortunate Blessings card. And uh, as far as I know, this guy was pretty fortunate. Pretty fortunate. So then let's take their birthdays, just the days, and add them up. His dad... Here's an older photograph I found of them. June 29th, his mom, November 11th, Prince, June 7th. 29 plus 11 plus 7 equals, yet again, the number 47. Tetragrammaton. So then you break down Prince's birth to death. You know, June 7th on the Gregorian calendar is the 158th day of the year, April 21st when he died, the 111th day of the year. And when you subtract those two, <laughs> I mean, it gets kind of monotonous during this presentation, but folks, can you see why there's really no other way to explain that man is being used? We're, we're being used. This guy was being used. 47 again and remember through the string of pi that's the 119 which again matches that of his full address of paisley park his home and his studio i mean april 21st is a triple master number 111 most of you know 111 is tied to 1.21 gigawatts which is a bolt of lightning the flash of creation and i just thought I would do this. I mean, this is what he supposedly overdosed from, fentanyl. So I decided to put that in with his full birth name, and I got an outcome of 106. And when you go into the string of pi, that number's found at the 1011th decimal digit of pi. There's that 111, and that is his death day. So do you think that has merit, the number? I absolutely believe that and the subtleties 26 letters matching that of the yod heh vah the iron the iron age another one another way to look at this is the 7 and the 21 born on june 7th died on april 21st when you divide those into one another you're going to get the number 0.33 which is again arsenic 
It's also tied again, tied to sulfur because sulfur has an atomic weight of 33. And remember, his mother and father were born in 1916, which matches the protons of sulfur, and 1933, which matches the atomic weight or isotope of sulfur. And, you know, remember this. That name is linked to these elements. So what is it that you saw during this presentation? I'd love to hear your comments on this and what you can add to this. Because, folks, to me, it's, it's really crystal clear. Uh, if you've been following my research, I, I greatly appreciate all of you. This is your first time here. You know, what, do, what is it you saw? But, folks, how else are you to explain all of what I'm showing you? You, you think, you know, you think this is all done on accident and... And then you have to really challenge the free will aspect because you can clearly see who Prince was really singing to and creating all his songs and albums. And the guy had 39 studio albums, I think it was. 39 is the Christ. 39 is the atrium. 39 is 88. I don't know how else to describe all of this other than man is being used we're being used for energetic food and until someone can prove that wrong that's the story that i'm going with i mean what is it you see i'd like to hear from you so that's all i got for today my name is logan this is decode your reality thank you so very much for watching